Hi Monkeys, here Carl. Very important question. How much money do you need for fire? Well, I retired of 2 million US dollars, but you don't need to. Let's do it very simple. Have you heard of the 4% rule? Uh, it means if you spend 4% of your assets annually, you can live sustainably for a very, very long time. In other words, if, you, if your assets exceed 25 annual expenses, you can retire. Ta -da. Well, let's have a sample. Uh, if you have $3,000 uh, of um, uh, monthly uh, expenses, you know, you multiply it by 12 and then you multiply it by 25 and you land at $900,000 US dollars. So if you spend $3,000 monthly, you need $900,000 to retire. Very simple recipe to know when you can retire, right? Well, is this fini a video finished now? Not so fast. First, uh, fire and ditch. This is very different. Rich people uh, don't even know how much money they have. Well, so I can say I'm not rich because I know how many assets I have. Fire means you can sustain a satisfactory life from the proceeds of your assets. So that means uh, you have enough food, you have some shelter, you have some clothing, and you can do something which is valuable to you. So for example, if you really uh, like to travel around three times a year, then uh, your proceeds from your assets should support these three travels as well. So if you uh, get on fire, you have not a luxurious life, uh, but you have enough money for living and you can have some expenses uh, for things which you find valuable. Okay, and now you might think, well, I spend $3,000 every month. Are $900,000 really enough to retire? I even think less could also be okay. Yeah, of course, it also depends uh, how much money you need for satisfactory lifestyle. So you have to know your expenses. I think 80 or 90% of the people don't know their expenses. You should know. So you should record your expenses and income. In about three months, you will know how much uh, you earn and how much you spend. And then reduce this, these expenses. Uh, check the utility of your expenses. Oh, well, I spent $300 on, um, uh, uh, in Starbucks. Is this really good? Oh, well, let's do it $100. Something like this. Oh, man, when I, I went to parties with my friends and spent $1,500. Mm, okay, let's reduce it to $400. Something like this, you know. So you should uh, maximize the utility utility of your expenses and uh, if you record your expenses you can see where you spend too much or too less you know and generally you spend too much on things you know and then you optimize your expenses and uh, after you optimize your expenses you need uh, 25 times of that amount if you want to retire and of course if you leave your job your expenses might also go down because I don't know where you work, but if you work in a very expensive metropolis like New York, London, Paris, Frankfurt, and so on, you might decide to move to the countryside where everything is cheaper, especially housing, you know. And, uh, you know, if you get to work, you have uh, some transportation costs and uh, yeah, uh, sometimes you have also to pay for food and you might have some work-related health problems because working is generally not that healthy. You get a lot of stress. Uh, if you work in the office, you generally work like this, which is uh, not, also not that great for your body, you know. And you have to buy some good clothes uh, for your working place because uh, you cannot go to uh, the work workplace like a hobo, you know. And then, uh, of course, if you earn some money from your employer, you also have to pay taxes, you know. So I'm actually pretty interested what is the true earning of an employee earning three or four thousand dollars a month. Yeah, well, if you have some ideas, please write them down here on the commentary. And you might actually earn some money after fire because after a while, fire can become pretty boring. So you might think, oh, well, I, I now chilled out for three months. Uh, well, let's do some economic activity. Let's get some work, you know. Oh, well, the supermarket uh, seems to look for some people uh, for, for working there, you know. So you, you might be so bored that you choose an economic activity, you know. Uh, for example, me, I do YouTube videos. Uh, I write some books. I do some lectures. Of course, I invest my money. And uh, yeah, my income 
of has actually gone up after uh, fire. Of course, I'm a guy thinking about making money all the time, 24 hours a day, you know. Okay, uh, when I sleep, I think about something else maybe. Okay, uh, but, um, but anyway, my 2023 corporate tax was greater than my income in 2020. So actually my income went up because following your hobbies for 16 hours a day, that can be pretty boring. Uh, my uh, hobby is playing chess, but I cannot play 16 hours a day, you know. So after one or two hours, uh, my brain becomes exhausted when I have to do something else, you know. So you might actually consider some work uh, which uh, mitigates the problem of having uh, no cash flow um, for you, you know. And how did you come up with the four person rule, you know. Uh, there is actually a very seminal paper Actually, it's this paper, Retirement Savings, Choosing a Withdrawal Rate That is Sustainable. Uh, this is actually written by some professors of the Trinity University. So this paper is called the Trinity Paper. And uh, in this Trinity Paper, they assume investing in US stocks and bonds. And they did a lot of simulations between 1926 and 1995. And if you have 50% in stocks and 50% in bonds, and if you withdraw 4% of your assets every year, you have a survival rate of uh, 95% or more for 30 years, you know. And if you invest everything in stocks, you also have a survival rate of 95% after 30 years. Then you might think, what? I might live more than 30 years after retirement. Kang, what are you talking about, you know? Someone also ran a 50-year simulation. So at a 4% withdrawal rate, your survival rate is around 80%. So if you spend 4% of your assets annually, <clears throat> uh, there's an 80% chance uh, you will have some money left after 50 years, you know. Uh, so it's actually a little bit risky. Okay, but if you spend 3% of your assets every year, uh, you have a 100% survival rate. So you can be assured. But then, uh, I need more money, right? Uh, do I really need 33 times my annual expenses? Uh, well, I don't think so. As I already told you, you can curb down your expenses after you retire and you might actually do some activity, you know, uh, some economic activity for fun and actually earn some money. Uh, so if you optimize your expenses, I think 20 or 25 times these uh, expenses should be enough for retirement and for fire. So for example, if you have expenses of $2,000 every month, I think if you uh, gather a half a million dollars, we should be enough for retirement. Well, Kang, did you retire with $500,000? Uh, well, I didn't. Uh, I actually retired with uh, $2 million. Uh, yeah, because I was actually ready to retire in 2018 when I was 35 years old. I, at that time, had 750000 US dollars. But the company I walked in uh, suddenly um, yeah, offered me to send me abroad to Germany, you know, and to make me an expat. Expat life is actually pretty great, you know. You should consider it if, you, uh, you're, if you're seeking a job, you know. So my plan is going to Germany, relax at work for three years, travel around Europe for three years, say if you invest some more money, and then you retire in three years, you know. Yeah, well, um, actually Corona disrupted with my plans because uh, I did some Europe travel, but only um, to uh, January 2000. 2020. After that, Corona came and then I stayed at home. Fortunately, while I stayed at home and uh, did nothing uh, except playing chess, uh, my assets grew up to $2 million. So my assets, which, when, uh, which were $750,000 in 2018, went up to $2 million in 2021. Okay, so after one and a half years of home, uh, home office and not working, I decided, yeah, well, now I have enough money. Let's retire. But, so I retired in 2021 uh, after my uh, expat uh, contract run up. So to sum up, having 20 or 25 times your optimized salary should be enough for your retirement. Don't worry, your expenses will go down and your income probably will, will not be zero. So I'm really interested. What is the true earning of an employee? Please leave some comments in the comment section below. Uh, and of course, investing is very necessary. Just follow my channel. I tell you how to invest. Thank you very much. Please subscribe and like me. Bye.